All right, what's up everybody? So what's going on with you? Um, I haven't made a video in over like a week. It's been a while, everybody. So um, so I should have made this video days ago. I really should have. And uh, the reason being is tomorrow is September 24th. And it could be potentially, <laughs> potentially a very big day. And the reason I say that is because about... 10 days ago, two weeks ago, the German chancellor came on and announced that September 24th, you will remember, you will remember where you were that day, which is a very bold statement to say the least, because people remember where they were September 11th. People won't forget where they were September 11th. I remember where I was, right? People don't forget where they were when Kennedy got shot. People don't forget where they were when, if they were alive when Pearl Harbor happened, right? When something catastrophic happens, they don't forget where they were when that happens. So usually, usually if something catastrophic happens, something negative in a very bad way. That's when you say you don't forget. You will always remember. And then we got the German chancellor coming out and saying to the German people and to the world that you will not forget where you were September 24th, right? So what could possibly happen? Is anything going to happen? Are we worrying about nothing? Or should we really be prepared for something? What's going on, everybody? You know what I mean? So, let's talk about it. Let's discuss. So, what's happened over the last two weeks? Do we have any clues? Do we have any clues to direct us in a... a give us any idea about what could possibly be going on? Well, um... My father keeps saying, uh, man, it must be something big going on. It must be like the collapse of the economies or a nuclear bomb going off, you know, which, you know, let's hope, let's pray to the Lord that does not happen. You know what I mean? Let's pray that does not happen. But in the last two weeks, there has been clues that have come out since then that maybe we could put something together all right so let's put things together so september 15th of 2020 which was my birthday by the way on my birthday i was 36 years old or the way i like to think of it was my second 18th birthday that's the way i like to think of it on well, my second 18th birthday israel declared and showed to the world that they had five red heifers. They had five red heifers, everybody. Now, if you guys aren't up to speed and don't know um, Bible prophecy and don't realize how Bible prophecy is coming to uh, a coming true at an extraordinary fast rate these days, okay? So, if you're not right with the Lord, guys, get with them right today. Like, seriously, get right with them today. Just do it. <laughs> because you're, you're messing around with things that you really shouldn't be. Now, the prophets said that, that when the red heifer comes back. When, see, the red heifer was extinct. And this, when the red heifer came back. You see, it fulfilled a, over a 2,000-year-old prophecy. The red heifer is now back after being extinct for over 2,000 years, everybody. 2,000 years. A prophecy has now been fulfilled. And in, and in Israel, they have five red heifers. Now, what's so important about that? See, they need a red heifer. They need a red heifer to be able to sacrifice to rebuild their third temple in Jerusalem. They need a third temple they, or, or a red heifer to sacrifice for their sins, 
to build one of the holy mounts, their third temple. You see, they talked about building a third, the rebuilding of a third temple back when the first temple was still standing. They thought these prophets were crazy when they, they were prophesizing all this. And when King Solomon's temple, the second temple fell, 2,000 years later, after all uh, the red heifers have gone extinct, if you talked about it 20 years ago, just 20 years ago, about the third temple being rebuilt in Jerusalem, people would laugh at you. They would laugh at you. But now it's actually, <laughs> this is really coming true. This is actually like mainstream talk. This is actually starting to really come true. A 2,000-year-old prophecy is actually starting to happen, everybody. You see? So, we got that going on. Right? And we know the relationship with Germany and the Jewish people. Not, o not on the best terms, right? Not always the best terms. The book of Daniel talks about Daniel's 70 weeks. The 70 weeks of Daniel. And then after Daniel 70 weeks, like things start going downhill after Daniel 70 weeks. You see, 70 years ago, the Jewish people returned to Israel and declared their, their government. They, they declared their holy nation. How long did the Queen of England reign in, in Britain? You guys know? 70 years. So everybody knows, if you guys actually know Daniel's 70 weeks, is actually talking about Daniel's 70 years. It's That's a known fact about the Bible. Daniel's 70 weeks is actually talking about Daniel's 70 years. If you read the Bible, talk about Daniel's 70 weeks, he's talking about 70 years. That's a fact. And then things start falling apart after Daniel's 70 weeks. And we are seeing this happen now. And now we see the after Daniel's 70 weeks, right after Daniel's 70 weeks happen or his 70 years, the Queen of England dies. And now we're going into a new era with King Charles. And King Charles talking about this uh, one world leader bringing forth a stage for the Antichrist, a one world leader. And now we have the, the red heifers and maybe talking about rebuilding the third temple. You guys understand the end of the world cannot happen until we rebuild the third temple. It can't even happen. The, the end of the world in the book of Revelations and according to the book of the prophets cannot even happen until there we rebuild the third temple. It does not even happen, everybody. So rebuilding the third temple, if we all of a sudden announce that they are rebuilding the third temple, that would be, even though it wouldn't be as catastrophic, uh, you understand, in Israel, they have been fighting over that holy land for over 2,000 years. It would be a massive announcement that if they were to uh, declare, we are rebuilding the third temple. If they were to declare that, which I think they are going to declare very soon. I also think they have the Ark of the Covenant. I believe the Jewish people have in their possession the Ark of the Covenant. I uh, There's proof of that. There's, uh, there's evidence that to this day that there was an archaeologist that found the Ark of the Covenant. And there's a lot of proof of that. I believe the 
that the Jewish people are in possession of the Ark of the Covenant and they're about to rebuild the third temple. And until this happens, the Antichrist cannot even come onto the scene. And until all these events happen, then the end of the world can't even start taking place. The seven-year tribulation can't even start falling in and things like that. If you guys aren't up to date on this, if you guys don't know about this, start reading the book of Revelation. Start reading the book of the prophets because you guys do not realize what is coming. You guys don't even know. And if you guys don't take the look, if this book right here... If you guys take this book as just another book, it's just, you know, that it's just another book. It's not just another book. That book is telling of the future. It is telling you what is going to happen. And the Lord told the end from the beginning, man. He's telling you what's going to happen. And you better start taking it very serious. Very serious. Because it is coming true at an extraordinary fast pace, everybody. So, get with it or get left. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, I know I'm right with the Lord. I mean, I can only do so much for you guys, you know. I can only tell you so much. Alright, guys. I love you. And I'm trying to tell you guys. But I can't. I can't. Uh, I can only show you the door, man. I can only show. I can't even push you through it. You know, I can only show it to you. So get right or get left. It's up to you, you know. All right, guys. I love you. And I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye, everybody.